Hello everyone, in this video I will be demonstrating how to control this 4 channel USB relays through the Raspberry Pi. Let's now take a look on the board first. The board basically has 4 relays with 3 terminals each, NO, C and NC. The front of the board has this USB B type connector and a DC socket to plug in an adapter to power on your relays. So apart from the board, we also need a male to male USB A to B type connector cable, also a 12 volt adapter to plug into the DC socket on board. Here I have used this 12 volt 2 amps adapter. Next, let's start with the connections. Connect your relay board to one of the USB ports of your Raspberry Pi and power on the relay board with this 12 volt adapter. Next, make the necessary connections to your Raspberry Pi. Notice I have attached my Ethernet cable as well. Now I shall boot up my Pi. Since I have used Raspberry and OS, I shall use LX terminal present in the OS to enter my commands. However, before you start entering the commands, make sure your Pi is connected to the internet so that you could download the necessary files required. Since we will be working on Python platform, the first thing we need to do is to update my Python libraries. And also we need to manually install the Python based FTDI drivers as well. Then list the FTDI drivers connected to your Pi with the following command. Notice and remember the serial name of your USB 4 relay board. Next, we need to download a few codes to the internet. So let's download them into a new directory. Enter the command to create a new directory. Let's name this directory as drcontrol. Enter the download command to get the zip file in which the code is present. Once the download is completed, unzip the file. Next. Download the GUI file from the product page and copy it into the download directory. Enter the following command to list all the FTDI devices connected to your Pi. Here there is only one 4 relay connector with the serial name A9005RON. Make sure you edit the Python code to replace to your serial name obtained. Save the code and run the GUI file. You will get an interface to turn on and off the individual relays. By this way, you are now able to control these 4 relays through Raspberry Pi. Use your own imagination and try to write your own codes to explore your creative skills in coding and electronics. Anyways, thank you for watching this tutorial.